<laughs> All I had to eat today was protein shake, four slices of pizza, and a baked sweet potato. Did you hate us? No. Is that what this is? <laughs> well, what's, what's with is you? Is this payback? I don't know. I didn't have any milk. Oh, that's a fucking first. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is a baked sweet potato? Like, you can't. Is Matt gone this week? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was there. I put it in a Greek salad. Oh, not this again. <laughs> okay. I had it for lunch while I watched Korean dramas. Okay, we need to start the show. <laughs> One, two, three, three, two, one, even. Oh. up everybody put down your crack pipes and beer bongs because you're listening to the drunk in a graveyard podcast and my name is robin i'm scott and i farted <laughs> yeah sure you fucking did <laughs> you farted and then put on a bunch of hairspray so it just smells like farts and hairspray in here yeah oh fuck <laughs> it's just like when dank girls carry around like that cotton candy body mist from walmart and then like spray themselves down with it or ck1 I just fucking aged myself. <laughs> or like like Clinique Happy or some shit. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Um, ooh, ooh, gotcha. ooh, gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, no, what the, Ralph Lauren. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Or like uh, if you want to pretend to be a classy bitch, you can do your like Chanel number no. five that you got on discount at Winners. Yeah, because no one wants it. Yeah, I smell like a grandma. Fucking. All right. Maybe I like the way grandmas smell. Uh-huh. Holy crap. Gilf. Well, I mean, I'm too Grandma, old. I'd like to fight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm too old for like to be cougar bait anymore. But oh. I mean, so the next one is whatever grandmas are. Gilfs. Gilf. Well, yeah, Gilf. Got Gilf. Cougars, oh. So what's a grandmother? Is that just an elder cougar? No, yeah. that's like is that a, a panther. No, it's like one of those all white bears that we only have in BC. The people... spirit bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they have cr- spirit moose? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, I heard somebody yeah. saw one. Remember those fucking rednecks back east like shot one and then, you know, <laughs> oh, the First Nations yeah. people got all pissed off? Well, yeah. What a weird looking animal. Let's shoot it. Yeah, let's, let's kill, kill it. it. I killed it. <laughs> I, I done killed it. it. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, we kind of thought when we saw it, we shouldn't have killed it. But, you know. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Gun was loaded. Live, yeah. love, eat. <laughs> I don't know. Live, love, crap. <laughs> That's the new. That's a new sign. If you guys are in one of those like calligraphy classes uh, that you take at like a like you know like a Michaels or something, you can make a live love crap sign for your bat for your <laughs> bat room. I would one hundred percent hang a live love yeet poster in my house. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Uh, it's yeet almost, like no one is watching. <laughs> it's almost as good as those uh, incredibly cursed Halloween bathroom decorations I have that oh, you were geez. titillating yourself with. I do. They were very titillating. Speaking of titillating, these movies were not titillating. <laughs> no. Um, movies have become, like, so blasé to me that the only thing that's going to make me feel better is if I just, you know, kill somebody. Uh-oh. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what if they're a spirit thing? No, I, I wouldn't kill an animal. I said somebody. Oh, yeah, what if they're like a albino person? Does that make them a spirit? Powder. Human? There you go. Would you kill powder? <laughs> no. That kid was weird. I'd kill yeah. him. <laughs> Didn't he eat bananas? No, that was K-Pax. <laughs> K-Pax is problematic. K-Pax with a lot of things. K-Pax is, is problematic. Because Kev- wasn't Kevin Spacey a kid? Yeah, that's learn? what yeah. the K stands for. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> My name's Kevin Pax. <laughs> but my friends call me K Pax. It's my street name. <laughs> Kevin Pax. Kevin Spacey's rapper name is K Pax. <laughs> Pass it on. Oh, fuck. What are we talking about? <laughs> well, we're not talking about Kevin Spacey anymore. <laughs> um, so we didn't know what to watch tonight. So we hit the old Netflix for some Netflix and kill. And we came across. A little flim from 2016 called Don't Hang Up. And I wish, you know, that we'd hung up. Well, this is the second time. Yeah. Yeah. Films have become, like, so, like, blasé at points. Like, a lot of the, 
like super kind of low rent horror films that they just uh, the same story same characters that we'd actually seen this when it came out two years ago um and we were incredibly drunk and we just forgot about it we got like 20 minutes into it then you're like we've seen this before we were like no we haven't we were like five minutes in (laughs) oh really oh yeah oh no anyways it was like an old new experience for me (laughs) yeah that's the that's the beauty of drinking. Everything's new. It's like Alzheimer's. Every day's a fucking first time. It's a new adventure. It's like that movie, Fifty First Dates with Drew Barrymore. But with more vomit. That's Adam the Adam Sandler half. Aww. Yeah. Actually, isn't that like his only decent movie? Uh how dare you? The wedding singer is his yeah, and Billy enough. Madison. Mm. I fucking love Billy Madison. Uh, the water boy is pretty good. Yeah. Mm. I'll go with the wedding singer. <laughs> they ever catch that gorilla that busts out of the zoo and punch you in the eye? <laughs> Kathy Bates was also in the What Else We Watched. Yes. Yes, she was. So, like we had decided when we were last talking about American Horror Story on the podcast, we decided that it is an experience that we would rather experience together. So we could be bonded through, um, what's that? Like survivor trauma? Yeah, yeah. like POW camp survivors. Yeah. So we decided that we would watch the new season of American Horror Story called American Horror Story Apocalypse together. So we did check out episode one tonight. And you know what? Woof. (laughs) Oof. Yikes. (laughs) And that's saying something. Because usually American Horror Story makes you hold on to episode five where it's like, "Ah, it could be good, could be good, and straight to crap. But, uh... This took a fucking nosedive... Almost immediately. immediately. Like, two sentences in, I was like, that's it, I'm, I'm crawling inside of the couch, I'm getting in the crevice. <laughs> Just make me get into the crawl space again. Uh, and then we got some news and some whole hog. Mm-hmm. As per use. Yeah. So what's a don't hang up? Don't hang up. No, no. Oh, don't you do it now. <laughs> don't hang up. Um... I'm thinking of the scene that was used in in the film adaptation of Dennis the Menace with Walter Matthau. I actually don't think I've seen that. <sighs> Walter Matthau is really good, and it has one of the wet bandits as the kid who uh, abducts Dennis Le Menace. Hmm. The titular menace. The titular menace? Mm-hmm. Hmm, all right. And it has Walter Matthau. There's a really funny scene where he uh, busts out his fake teeth and puts two chicklets it does not teeth. sound very funny. That it is sounds, pretty funny. That sounds like old timey. <laughs> yeah. What's his name? That ad. That... Yeah, that's. Oh. Just play Chinese people by putting chiclets in his mouth. Yes. Me frappa dicky wrong time. Yeah. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Problematic. All right. So, so I was talking about something like cute and adorable, and you guys had to take it down a weird road. Well, Whatever. I'm just fucking saying. Okay. Anyways, so Don't Hang Up is a 2016 British horror thriller film written by Joe Johnson and directed <laughs> Joey by... Joe That's Joe. a fake-ass name. My name is Joe yeah. Human. <laughs> Joey Jojo Shabadoo. I enjoy human things like walking. <laughs> Joey Jojo. Oh, here he is. He's on the screen. Put Joey Jojo on. He looks oh. like a potato. He looks like Ray, Ray Liotta, kind of. Yeah. He does, kind of. Huh. Well, then. Here's a picture of The Rock. Sure. He's everywhere <laughs> you want to be, baby. Okay. Yeah. So it was directed by Alexis Wadsbrot. This guy. He's got a... He's a French film director. Uh, debut was a short film called Red Balloon. Mm. Um, he was visual effects supervisor in Thor Ragnarok. He's done a lot of CGI work. I'm just kind of looking him up, like Iron Man 3, oh. Gravity, CG effects supervisor. Well, Ugh. good thing there's no CGI effects in this movie. Cloverfield. Uh, oh, Harry oh. Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Okay, what was the movie about? I don't know. Yeah, okay. So, film stars Greg Solkin, Garrett Clayton, Sienna Guillory, and Bella Dane in a premiere June 4th. All those names sound made up. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Um... So teenage pranksters Brandy, Manon, Sam Fuller, Mosley, and Roy, a.k.a. Prank Monkey 69 fucking cool guy zone. <laughs> um, Just a bunch of guys being dudes. Yeah. So they phone a lady in the middle of the night and pretend to be a police officer that's doing a raid inside her home and that there's two suspects. 
and that she has to stay quiet and block off the door to her bedroom and the suspect might have her daughter and as this lady's freaking out and getting like a scary phone call she uh grabs a loaded gun because it's murka well that's and, just, uh, that's just, that's that's spo- that's a a treat for later oh treats for later right? yes that's a tool for later anyway, she gets fucking pranked and they upload it to the interbutts and have a youtube channel of prank videos no, they don't have youtube they have this is of like parallel universe that doesn't have youtube they have like uvid yeah i think that's what it was called yeah, it's like uvid and then like their snapchat is like pic shot and their facebook was just called friends with a z, <laughs> with a z. i like it <laughs> it i love alternate universe like social media so good it'll be like friendster friendstergram friend friend well and we discussed too that well i really like when i'm watching a movie or tv show and then they they're watching tv in the show and i like to try to figure out what it is usually it's some bullshit fake show or something 95 percent of the time it's fucking night of the living dead yeah it's in the public domain Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay (sighs) Quick, quick sneeze breaks. <laughs> Yikes! So they uh, uh, they they prank prank them and prank ya, uh, gotcha. And then what is it like? Sam and uh, what's the other guy's name? Barry. Manon. <laughs> no, Bar- yeah, Brady Manon. <laughs> Sam and Brady are like, let's oh. fucking hang out and drink beer. Because <laughs> my parents are out of town. And the doorknob also was like a meat locker like lever. And it was so high up and I couldn't move past yeah, You got it. really obsessed with this doorknob. It, looked like, it was like, crazy. It looked like the fucking like latch on an old fridge from the 1950s. Yeah, on their front door. And it was like three quarters of the way up the fucking door. Yeah, you aren't wrong. So a child could not open that door. Maybe that's the fucking point. Oh, oh. Right, maybe I should get a doorknob like that. <laughs> Wouldn't so that be Robin about can't a... get out of your house <laughs> <laughs> oh come on Aww. i am really short remember when we went to the theater and my feet weren't even touching the ground that was adorable no it was awful i thought it was cute no uh so they're like let's get drunk let's get busy <laughs> <laughs> and prank call people which like come Wait, on you fucking 12 yeah what is this the fucking jerky boys <laughs> it's cranky anchors remember kick kick my dog no no you guys don't remember that prank call is that like the indian guy yeah. oh, okay yes yeah. i do yeah i thought that was an adam sandler bit remember arnold's pizza shop that i don't <laughs> that one was really good you gotta listen you gotta listen to it <laughs> i do remember cranky anchors yeah that's um so they drank like 25 beers <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah they're oh, putting yeah. away. <laughs> Between, mean, like, two 18-year-olds. Yeah, props. Yeah. Yeah. And then Buddy was like, uh, I'm shipping off, going to join the fucking army. <laughs> I think I got my tattoo that says Temper Fudget or whatever. <laughs> Semper Fi? <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> no rag rat. Yeah, it seems a little much to get the tattoo before you do the thing. Hey, man, he's got the tattoo. What if, yeah. fine. What if you don't make it through fucking basic? Yeah, that's embarrassing. Right? You just or, cover that thing with a black bar? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or what if he gets like, they're like, you're not, we're not sending you to the Marines. You're going to this other fucking wing of you the can army. You join the Navy. Yeah, right. You can wear those bell bottom pants. <laughs> yeah. That... Or if he's like a, he's in the army, but he's a clerk. Oh. Right? You just do fucking secretarial work the whole time, which is by far, if you're going to do it, <laughs> safest he just hangs out at the mall and like but. tricks poor youths into signing up yeah just like that so if you sign up for the army can you like unsign up for the no. army well yes but i'm pretty sure you get dishonorably discharged whatever any discharge gets discharge if you ask me uh, it's a self-cleaning it organism <laughs> gross <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think you can get out of the army, no. Well, I don't know. What if you have bone spurs? Yeah. <laughs> uh, bone spurs. So anyways, they're like, oh, let's get drunk and call, prank call people. And they prank call. Some of their prank calls were so mean. Like, they prank called this guy and they were like, hey, this is like the sheriff's office. Like, we found your your number in this phone. There was a horrible car accident. And your wife is dead. That's just a Blink-182 song. 
<laughs> it is. Yeah, well, yeah. no, wasn't it? I said that I'm the cops and your husband's in jail. Yeah. The state yeah. down on sodomy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. What's my age again? <laughs> uh, and then this they guy. They were 25 when they sung that song. <sighs> and I remember thinking, that's old. <laughs> We're What's so my old. age again? Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I, I'm, did they call this guy? And the, the, the killer just happened to pick up? But, but yeah, then, like, like, how would they know he had a wife? Oh, well, that's also a good point. But I Maybe say, they were just, like, yeah. you just say it and hope. Like, yeah. cold reading? Like, what yeah. do fucking magicians and shit do? Like, I'm thinking of a name that starts magicians. with a... Magicians! <laughs> You know, psychics and stuff What's like Ravine. Guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck. fucking! Don't disrespect Ravine. I I wouldn't dare he's dream legit. of it. Um, no. Then they then they call a guy and he's like, "I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck with you guys now." Like now I'm the fucking and I'm oh. driving the bus. <laughs> now I'm the fucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! I got you from behind. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but did. They, they didn't explain a lot of the technical aspects of this film, like, at all. Not even a bit. They didn't even attempt. No, fuck no. It no. would have taken too long. Because they, they each had cell phones, but they were making prank calls on a landline. Yes. <laughs> they were doing Star 67, bro. Or is it Star 69? I think 69. <laughs> Star 666. That's how I you think call the devil. 69 was, uh... To call the the number that the last, last the call. Yeah, last dial. And yeah. star 67 was to block your yeah. number. We are really old. Uh, why would you even put that in there, though? Like, what is the non-prank call usage of blocking I always number? wondered that. Yeah. I don't know. To make threats to your ex-wife? The guy who invented it is like, I'm going to fucking show you, Linda. Yeah, maybe it was like <laughs> I'm going to kill you, bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's the, that's, the, that's uh, what Scream was based on. Yeah. That was the backstory. Oh, I don't want to play again. Or wait, what's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> Fuck, I'm going to call back later. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, did that scare you? Like, like, just on a scale of like one to five, like how scared were you? Like a three, please. Uh, <laughs> so they prank call this guy and he's like, yeah, now I'm going to fuck with you. Like now, now you're in the shit. Now I'm driving. Move over. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, fuck you, needle dick. <laughs> And then he's like, yeah, uh, Brad, you, what's his name? Yeah, Brad Paisley, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, just insert generic douchey yeah. white kid. Yeah, like, Brad, I think it was Brad. Cameron. Chad, Brad. Mm-hmm, they're all there. Uh, he's like, fuck you, Brad. Uh, I know this is your dress, you cocksucker. Now, now who's laughing? <laughs> I was looking at you. And then Brent's like, fuck, I don't like this. And then his other friend, fucking Sam. Yeah, Sam and Brady. Sam and Brady is like, uh, fuck, who cares? Let's hang up. Fuck them, just hangs up. And then they continue kind of trying to prank people. They order like an anchovy pizza to their neighbor who flips out, brings out a baseball bat and tries to beat the fuck out of their friend. Yeah. Yeah, the delivery guy? Yeah, Mosley. Mosley. Yeah, Mosley. And he's my buddy. Mostly got <laughs> pants full of poopy after, you know, a guy comes after you with a baseball bat. You're like, I just want to deliver my fish oh, pizza to you. And then the, the, the killer, the soon-to-be killer, orders a pizza to their house delivered by uh, Peyton. S- Sam's girlfriend, Peyton. Everyone's name in this movie was This is just... fucking terrible, right? <sighs> Everyone's name screams fucking suburb. <laughs> yeah. Like, everyone's name is... I lived in a safe neighborhood. Mm-hmm. With Jordan and Jessica and Jennifer. I'm surprised it wasn't like my girlfriend, Peyton S, because there's another Peyton in the class. Yeah, right. Uh, and she, he's like, let's get back together, baby. Because earlier, she updated her Facebook status to say, what was it? Under decision. Under discussion. Under discussion. <laughs> We're having peace talks. Yeah, we're in a discussion. We're we're gonna be tabling a, a new contract. It's like when unions break down yeah. and they gotta go to arbitration. You're launching the submarine, you both have to turn your key. You have to do it at the same time. Yeah, totally. Uh and then he's like, Let's fucking work it out, baby. And she's like, I have to go deliver pizza for Giuseppe's pizza <laughs> <laughs> in my short shorts. 
who wear short shorts. And then the guy calls back. He's like, hey, hey, hey bro. Is that your, that's your girlfriend, right? She's hot. And yeah, he's like, she sounds, eh. <laughs> she sounds kind of pissed off, though. What's going on there? Yeah. Bro, if you need someone to talk to. I'm here for you, bro. <laughs> no homo. Um, and he's like, well, you don't know anything about her. Stop bothering us. And what this movie really should have just been called is Jake and Logan Paul, their comeuppance does come. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone in this movie was very unlikable. And just like, like everyone in like the Logan Paul yes. world. Yes. They think that they're like scamps, but they're just awful. They're not even, they're not rascals. They're just terrible. Evil shenanigans. Yeah, it is evil shenanigans. Yeah, it's not funny or hilarious. It's just cruel right. and tragic. Yes, uh, and then I couldn't wait for these people to fucking die. Oh, I, I was know. like, I just want everyone just like mowed down. Oh, uh, yeah. And then the guys like look on the TV, idiots, and it was like a live feed of uh, Brad's parents. Yeah, like bound, bound in chairs in their living room with their shirts off. Well, yeah, I mean. I'm fine with that. Seemed like an unnecessary step. All I can vulnerable. think of was when you mm. said bound in chairs. Was that like porn site bound and fucked or whatever? What the fuck, dude? I don't know. That's just all I can think of. <laughs> and he's like, look, I'm making a bondage movie with your parents. It's fucking weird, right? In, in the armory? Yeah. <laughs> Whipping Jesus' ass raw. Um, That's fucking dumb. Uh, yeah, and he's like, Whoa, why do you have my parents? Because uh, uh. he's getting the s- images sent through Snapchat. So he's like seeing pick like... Snap. Pick, pick snap. Snaps. Or pop snap or some shit. Oh, yeah, pop pick. <laughs> All the kids love it. It's pop pick. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, and he's like, it's my parents, bro. Uh. Yeah. And then what is he... I don't even understand what the stakes were. It was like, if you leave, I won't kill them. Or if you hang up, I will. Or, like, if well, yeah. one of you leaves... They were like... Yeah, it was just insurance to keep them in the house oh. on the phone. Oh, okay. if you leave or hang up, then something happens to them. Hence the title. Yeah. Don't hang up. Don't hang it's right up. There. It's and right he also there started, he's also texting them and has taken over their phone lines because they Somehow. do try... That's not never explained. They do try to call 911 from the landline, which I thought was dumb, because he was talking to them on the landline. Why not just call 911 from a cell phone? Yeah. yeah. Or do they call 911 from a cell no, phone? No, they called it from the landline, because he's like, don't hang up. And he's like, I'm a hang up. <laughs> Blim. And That's then, your parents, not mine. Yeah. Bing. Gets through to, uh, quotes, 911. And it's this Mr. Lee character who's like, sir, you're going to have to stop using profanity against me, sir. And then it's like, <laughs> guess what? Pranked you. And, and it was like, like that in Scary Movie. Yeah. And it's like, nah, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like his normal voice was like, I'm going to screw with you boys. And then the 911 was like, 911 operator. <laughs> like, it was so clearly the same guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like in like, fucking Scary hello? Movie 3. <laughs> Pinching his nose. In Scary Movie 3, like, hello, we're calling from Raiders Digest. Well, then our Raiders offer for Cody. Ah, you're the evil little girl from the TV. <laughs> yeah, um, it's me. I, I don't know even what happened after this. <laughs> um, so he hijacks their cell phone lines and the landline, and it also turns out that he's watching them through the computer, which, everyone, you better go get your damn masking tape and cover off that camera on your laptops. You don't need Justin Trudeau looking at Justin your booty. <laughs> he's, he's he watching. can look at my booty. I mean... Prime Minister Hunk. Ugh. Hunk of junk. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> At least we get that weed. <laughs> That's true. He was yeah. just like, "Fine, you can have it." Yeah, but yeah. So <laughs> you don't want shot. you don't want to have Justin Trudeau looking at your booty. So go put that masking tape over your camera. I told you. Um, <laughs> this is voice. <laughs> I don't know. It was like a weird Jersey accent. It went weird. <laughs> yeah. Joyzy. Joyzy. <laughs> the Boston accent. <laughs> um. Okay. So. He also seems to like take control of the house's electrical power. <laughs> yeah, so I, I told you they have fucking nest. I thought he was in the basement just flicking the breaker on and off. Well, <laughs> Light switch rave. Might be. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, so he just kind of fucks with them for a bit, and then he's... he sends them a video of them suffocating their buddy to death. Oh, the prank monkey sixty nine. Prank monkey sixty nine. 
He puts like a bag over his head because he's like all tied up. Right. And then that it's would like, be a horrifying way to go. Absolutely. Like a fucking Black Christmas yeah. style. Yeah. 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 Nobody calls it "Don't Hang Up" style. That's for sure. <laughs> Fuck me, ow. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, there you go. That was two days ago, bitches. Yeah, what are you going to Stay do? in contact with your friends much? <laughs> um, and then they start running around the house and then somehow fucking what's his face? Like, hears something at the back door and then runs to the back door and finds his friend mostly. Yes. With a bag over his head hanging from, like, a cord. Yeah, I was confused, like, how that was I'm not attached. Sure if, yeah, if he was, like... You know, Chevy Chase, like, stapled it to the house. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, just give him a kick in the ass. I'm, like, but blam! Someone's at the door. Um, and so he opens it and fucking uh, Mosley falls falls in and falls on top of him. And they like, kind of grapple around sexually for a bit. And then he's, like, I'll help you get the bag off your head. Gets it off. And he's, like, oh, you got a bandana around your neck. It's red. Let me get it off. And then he's, like, oh, and his shit. head falls off. <laughs> That's a choker. He doesn't have one of those tattoo chokers that signifies that you do anal. <laughs> um, so he takes the fucking bandana off and then re- reveals that Mosley has had his throat slit. And then they die. He, he dies. He was Mosley dead and now he's fully dead. Yes. Well, yeah. Well. And then his buddy's like, just <laughs> not good. You need a bad joke alert. Oh, yeah. Wah, wah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the losing horn from Price is Right is yeah. what it needs to be. Uh, and then uh, Brady at that point is giving him like the thousand Brady. yard stare. Also, that kid would have never like worked out in the army or the navy because like he really saw nothing and like broke emotionally. He looked like Dave Franco, but like a bargain basement we Dave Franco. We were having a discussion about whether this guy was in porn. We thought both the lead guys were in porn. Like, he had dick twink. sucking lips. Yeah. We thought it was like, uh, the coach from the wrestling team needed to see me. Uh, and it's like, you're getting haze. Like, we thought it was that situation. Yeah. Scott, what did you think? Agreed. <laughs> I don't I, know. Guy, some, I Google, eventually, it was like, these guys have got to be, like, internet kids that the kids like. Like, they had got to be someone from somewhere. Some sort of fucking Instagram protein shake seller or some Instagram shit. Instagram influencer? Yes, thank you. Yeah. That's a thing that exists. I know, American Horror Story told me uh, so. But more on that later. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I, I don't know. I can't. <laughs> I hate it. Um, so... <sighs> Mr. Lee <laughs> makes, makes the kids an offer. He was just like, if you uh, kill Sam, I'll let your parents go. And then they have like a big fight i don't know i'm trying to like i'm reading like the wikipedia to try to like jog my memory here oh yeah this movie kind of went to a little bit of shit the Um, whole middle of it is just a miasma of garbage yeah Uh so mr lee has had conversations with the two of them being like if you kill the other one i'll let your parents go Uh and then he also shows to sam that he's kidnapped peyton and has her tied up somewhere and she's all bloody and sexy and like boogity boogity um and the two of them have like a little bit of a fight, and then Brady gets restrained with a zip tie to the like a newel the post. Stairs. Yeah, <laughs> fix the newel post. <laughs> also, their white person decoration of a vase with reeds stuck in it got smashed in a kerfuffle. You were really upset about the like the excess white person decorations. There I'm was there with you, like so many little end tables, like in the middle of a hallway. Yeah, that just like you got to walk around that shit. And then there was, like, a, a ship next to, like, an elephant. Yeah, yeah, and, like, a candle holder with no candle in it. No. Like, the most generic shit you could buy at Winners. Yes. Pier 1, one stop. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. Got, we're making a movie and we gotta yeah. furnish a set. Yeah, we gotta go to Home Goods. So... Do you have your TJ Maxx extra card? <laughs> the, the killer was like, hey, check this out, I got a video for you. <laughs> yeah. And then... Shows them a video of his parents, and he's like, "This is live." And no, no, the other video. Oh, <laughs> right. Which so he, I don't know how he got. He's I'm not a sure. hacker. He's always oh, a hacker. Yeah, he's like, yeah. like hackers '80s style. So oh. he finds a video of Brady and Peyton fucking and trucking. <laughs> Funk. Mainly fucking. Yeah, Funk. mainly fucking. Not the trucking, trucking was off scene. <laughs> Funkin'. 
Well, she uh, trunks her way, uh, trunks her way home, funkin. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> funkin blow. Uh, so she's like, I can't believe you recorded us having sex. I won't be able to talk to Sam about this because I don't want him to cry like a little baby. And I say, like, he's a little baby. Come here, baby. Uh, <laughs> And she's like, she's like, fuck you. Fuck you. And he's like, oh my god, you're such a slut. Fuck you. And then he's like, oh, I'm gonna eat that pussy. To a camera, to nobody. He has he's two just... separate cameras in case his victim finds one camera. He has another one as backup. That's assault, brother. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's either, you know, maybe he's just an amateur filmmaker. He needs multiple <laughs> angles to keep it interesting. It's a young Lars Van Triers. There yeah, you go. yeah. You need to have, like, your uh, your B-roll. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so your A roll. You and didn't see the th- fucking the third camera, it's which a... was a GoPro attached to the base of the bed. That's yeah. the butt hole. That's, shot. that's the B hole roll. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> just like the worst angle, just slap it. You know the porn angle. I know the it. Lower butt. Like who wants that? I don't know. I don't know. And the cameraman's got to get up and oh, that poor man. Uh, anyway, so he's like, what the fuck, Brent? You fucked my girlfriend. (laughs) And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, man. She fucked me. I don't know what to do. Like, she's a fucking bitch. Like, it's her too. And then so he starts beating the shit out of his friend while he's fucking zap strapped to a fucking noodle pose. (laughs) Which was kind of cool. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, he sends him a, a video... Or Sam fucking figures it out that the parents who are tied up in this supposedly live video that they've been sent were tied up like two hours prior. And he's like, show them to me in real time and then we'll fucking have something to say about it. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, how threatening can like an 18 year old be over the phone? And also the reason that he found this out is because both houses have giant white school clocks on yeah. their walls. and he, he read the time yes um at least it wasn't one of those like dripping melting salvador dali clocks oh or something. god you know people who have those like yeah off of their like shelves and stuff i hate it yeah i was in someone's office once and they had one of those and i i couldn't stop looking at it and then i didn't want to be there anymore and it didn't matter what i was there for that <laughs> i was just like i i gotta go i gotta take a shit all right <laughs> So he's like, yeah, show me the real video and then we'll fucking fight or whatever. Like, I don't know how threatening... You're getting so red in the face. I don't know how threatening an 18-year-old can be on the fucking phone. And then the killer's like, hey, 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 I haven't been exactly honest with you, have I? Well, look at this. Boo. (laughs) Backs up to show a fucking that he's already killed Brady's parents. And, like, they were tied to chairs. Yeah, he shows that it's a video that he took. Well, he made the initial phone call. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Two hours ago. Yes. And he was just like, you like feeling like you're in power, boys, don't you? And they're like, suck my dick. Uh, And then uh, Brady's like, "Uh, bro, you got to let me go. And Sam's like, I love you, bro. And lets him go. And then they're like, we're going to split up. You go at the back. You go that way. I'll go home. And then Sam goes out the front door and then Brady locks him out. And Sam finds Peyton in, like, like, a van. Yeah. It's just, like, parked right outside. Yeah, he finds, like, the killer's, like, uh, van mobile with the fucking... His creep van. Mm -hmm. His creep catcher van (laughs) with the fucking laptop and a bunch of other shit. And then his girlfriend tied up. And then he's like, okay, call the police and don't come back. And then she's like, okay. And uh, then they... It's all in, like, a suburban neighborhood at, like, 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, as if there wasn't, like, white people, like, staring out their windows, being like, what's going on out there? (laughs) Like, yeah. And then they hear screaming or something. No, they, like, decide to, like, go. They they hear screaming, and then they decide to go into the backyard. Well, he tells Payne to fuck off. And she's like, okay, and then doesn't. Yeah. Um, And they see their friends sitting on a swing set. Mosley. Mosley. This body. Yeah. And, uh. Then the killer runs out with his knife uh-huh. and a mask, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then we were like, "We know where this goes." That mask just kind of looked like uh, the ghost, like the mask the singer from Ghost wears. Oh. Do you know what it looked like? It looked like the expression of the guy in Breaking Bad that was bald, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
I was going to say that's kind of an open statement because there's at least two bald <laughs> yeah. characters. Yeah, no, in that but like show, the one who like wasn't Mike, fucking Walter hitman. White. Yeah. The main, not the main bald guy, the secondary. Yeah, secondary <laughs> bald guy. I like Mike. I like Mike much better than Walter. Yeah. I think that was the idea, though. Yeah. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And people are like, Ugh, Walter White is so cool. No. <sighs> um, so, of course, the killer wordlessly comes out to them. And uh, swinging a knife around. And you notice, like, swinging the knife around, oddly, like someone who's holding a knife with two hands, which, you know, probably. Oh, oh, whoops. Probably. You don't hold a knife with two hands? No. Oh. Um, so they have a little wrestling match, and Sam ends up stabbing the killer and then unmasks him and finds out that whoopers, it's Brady. Yeah, we all knew that this was happening. Who had his hands tied up and was, you know, gagged. And then he's like, oh, Brady, come back to me. I love you, man. Baby, come back. Brady, come back. You don't have to go away. <laughs> um, so Brady fucking dies. <laughs> and Peyton is, like, chilling out. She's like, yo, you fucking dead. I don't know why. And the fucking real killer shows up and is like, hi, how's it going? And he's wearing the exact same mask. And he's like, why are you doing this to us? And he's like, let's roll the tape on that one. Yeah, and it's uh, because he is the husband of the woman who got the original prank phone call that started this movie, and after the boy's prank phone called her, and she dropped her phone and was like, oh my god, I hear something, someone's got my daughter, and she runs out into the hallway with a loaded handgun. It was just under her bed. America. America, fuck yeah. It wasn't, like, just within reach, right, loaded, like, chambered, even. yeah. Yeah. Ready to go. Yeah. And so she hears a noise, fires blindly into the night, and bingo, bango, she fucking fired her at her daughter and shot her. And so the little kid's dead, and then she's like, oh, fart, and then just shoots herself in the heart. And so this is the husband of that. And he was like, you took from me, and I'm going to take everything from you. So I have like a little fight in the backyard, and then uh, you s- hear a single gunshot, and it's like, oh, did he kill, did he kill Sam? Did he kill Peyton? Because they're both, like, fighting around the world. (laughs) Russell Crowe. Yeah, you see Sam wake up in the house, and he's got a knifey in one hand and a gunny in the other. And a spoonie. (laughs) Gunny spoonie. (laughs) And he runs outside and finds that bingo bango, Peyton got it in the head, and his buddy Brady is out there, and so's mostly. And the police show up, and he's got a gun and a knife, Mm -hmm. so. Whoopers. Fair's fair, though. But I mean... The real reason behind this whole thing is lax gun control laws. That's what I took out of it. That's what I took out of it as well. That man has no one to blame but himself. Because he kept a loaded handgun under a bed and his wife was not properly trained how to use it. Well, I mean, she was actually quite properly trained. She shot to kill. Yeah, through a door. Like, uh, (laughs) Sideways. (laughs) Like it's and whack, whack. you would think okay if the cops call you and they're like hey we're inside your house conducting a raid don't come out of your hu- house like wouldn't you hear them walking around you think you're victim blaming right now I I think everyone in this movie was a fucking unlikable dumbass yeah you're not wrong and the guy is like I'm gonna take from you Ugh. but then he killed everyone but one kid but four kids made the prank call. So wouldn't it make more sense to kill those four kids' loved ones to teach all four of them a lesson? In fact, the kid that lived wasn't even the one who made the original call. He was just there. Life isn't fair, (laughs) Ricky. It's random chance. I just... This this does not hold up to scrutiny. No, it really doesn't. And it didn't explain how he was able to, like, manipulate outgoing phone calls. No. And how they just happened to call him. Yeah. Anyways, this movie was not very good as one well. It holds get. a f- score of 20% on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, I'm going to give it 20% <laughs> of my ass. <laughs> so all of it. <laughs> I was going to say, can you spare 20%? No. no. I can't spare a square. Um, this movie was like, I don't know, the, 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 the timing was right. Yeah, I mean, because it, it references like all that prank culture and all of those like pieces on like, you know, the... YouTube, like, scamps and things like that. Scamps. Scallywags. Yeah. Ne'er-do-wells. Um, it was also only, like, an hour and ten minutes long. Yeah, I mean, that's a positive mm-hmm. in this case. Um, eh, I don't know. I give it, like, one meh out of six. 
I give it like one lame Logan Paul ripoff <laughs> out of six. You know what? Logan Paul's not even that cool. So and he's not good looking. The girls think he's cute. Oh yeah. Ugh. I don't know why. And like his audience is like twelve year olds. His face looks like a foot. <laughs> not okay. wrong. <laughs> Get, pop him up on the screen. Let's see what he. Let's. Yeah, let's we got a we got a monitor. You guys can't see it, but we can. Yeah, we have a monitor in our studio because some nice, nice lady. Nice lady. Us. Oh my god. Oh, it's worse than I thought. Oh my god. He looks like every like chachi douchebag that we went to high school oh with. Oh, jeez. Why does he have that fair, fair of Looks like a hair. damn bird. Ugh. He's terrible looking. I'd cross the street to avoid this fucking chode. He just looks like such a prick. Oh yeah, he looks like a prick. What's get get his brother up on the? He screen. looks like the kind of guy who would be at a house party Jake and Paul. put beer in your dog's water dish and be like, "It's funny." Yeah, Jaden Paul. Jake. Oh, Jake. <laughs> what the fuck did I pull up? Jake Paul. That's Jake oh, that Paul. is Jake Paul. Ew! There's two of them. Yeah. Gross. And they've been like pretty much almost ran out of their neighborhood because their neighbors are like, "Can you stop setting fire to couches on the front yard?" Oh God. Oh my god. He's he like a fucking backstreet boy. Yikes. How dare you? Who's this now? Oh. I think that's the same person. Yeah. Who just like, fucked up his face. I don't like this. I was at Walmart and I saw a poster of one of these guys. And I was Ew. like, ugh. No. They were selling them. Ugh. So, anyways, I got you guys each one for Christmas. Yay. Perfect. <laughs> we'll go with that BTS poster I got you. <laughs> Nothing creepier. A 30-year-old woman with Korean pop bands okay. on the wall. I don't... Okay, you are misrepresenting me. Oh. I do You're not... You're 32, right. Sorry. <laughs> Come on. I don't own a BTS poster. Not yet. You didn't buy me one, so no. Well, it's cats out of the bag for your Christmas present. Oh Christmas oil painting. <laughs> I feel like Matt would just like break it over his <laughs> knee and be like, he'd break it over your head cartoon style, <laughs> yeah. like a canvas, like a canvas frame, and then it would go like perfectly over. So it's like my head would be like connecting up with one of their necks and be like, no, I'm in BTS. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, okay, let's move on away from making fun of me. Okay. <laughs> need to make fun of logan and jake paul mm -hmm. i just like who's watching that i don't know what do they do do they like, like pranks at least like, the jackass shit. guys were like likable yeah they were hurting each other not other people yeah and they were nice yeah like even their pranks that involved other people they weren't like let's go throw pokeballs at japanese people although they did go to japan that one time well, but even their pranks in Japan were kind of funny. Like when he dressed, like when Wee Man dressed up as a big cone and yeah. they just blocked an escalator. People were just walking around him. And then they dressed up like him and Preston dressed up like pandas. Yeah. They loved it. They did. That was funny. It wasn't like him and Preston and like Ben Affleck or something or like uh, Brad Pitt. It was like a famous celebrity oh. and they couldn't do very much because he was so famous. Oh, they had yeah. to put him in the costume. You're right. And, yeah. And I remember Pontius was when his party boy. Yeah, and he was, like, partying in, like, a Japanese store, and then they were like, why are you doing this? Please leave. We're so polite. <laughs> uh, anyways, and then we... Scott, what do you give the movie? Uh, <laughs> one tank top out of fucking six. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. One hoorah tattoo out of six. Uh, is it okay for you to get tattoos, like, of the army before you're in the army? Well, I, don't I don't think, think so. it's, like, a... I don't think it's like a. And no, like I'm not a thinking about like a Hell's Anarchy Angel. Fucking Hell's oh, Angel fucking thing Christ. where burn it off if oh. you're a fake. Or you quit. If you're a false? Yeah, if you're a false. Oh my Christ. Do not enter here. Okay, uh, so you know what we really should talk about uh, instead of any of this shit uh, is the uh, fact that Mayans MC rules my fucking ass and that opening song fucking slaps. Uh oh. It's about wild dogs. <laughs> it's fucking cool. I like dogs. I like dags. And it's got spicy Spanish men. I do like I do like Spanish men. The lead in uh. this looks almost exactly like uh Jax Teller. Yeah, he really He's like does. the slightly Spanish version Jax of Jax Teller. Jax Teller's the guy from the first one. Yeah, yeah. Charlie Hunnam. Okay. Hunnam. Yeah, yeah, they were just like well, go, um, yank him up. Yeah, yank him up. Is he uh, on the hog list? Put him on there. 
What's, I don't even know the guy's name. Even like, right. the, even like the Ron Perlman character <laughs> looks oh, like... Jesus dude. Christ. It always comes back to Ron Perlman with you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ron Perlman, fucking whatever. Look, look, look at him! Oh, shit! That dude's from fucking, uh... He was in the hundo. Was he? Yeah, that's yeah, him right there. Have you seen his dick? No, I haven't seen his Damn. dick. Damn! No. He's good no. looking, though, right? He is good looking. Look at all these vests. Uh-oh. That's oh, the Ron yeah. Perlman character right there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um... Mine's I'm going to look into this. Rules. I'm going to look into this. Yeah, it's not bad. No, no, and it, no. And it has, like, quite a quick pace. I think you'll like it. It doesn't drag. Okay, good, because I get bored quickly. Three episodes have happened, and it's, like, three seasons worth of material. Oh, shit, I'm into that. Um, okay, so, speaking of episodes... I think Beth is in it, too. Yeah, there's her dumbass right there. Yeah, she plays a whiff. Is that Beth? Enhance. 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 I don't know. Anyways, okay, what are, let's this monitor is very distracting, it's distracting to us. You, yeah, yeah, we're 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 like in, in baffled by technology. Uh, a nice lady named Rigby gave us a uh, monitor to use in our studio. Nice so now lady. We can, now we can uh, pull up the whole hog. Yep. Men in a like large and in charge. Yeah. Hypervision. Um, we can enhance the dong. <laughs> enhance. Okay, so we're suffering again. For our art, for our fart. For you, actually, my our listeners. My listeners. Our listener. <laughs> One singular, and it's my mom. <laughs> Hi mom. Um we're suffering for you guys again because we have decided that we're going to watch American Horror Story Apocalypse together. Um so I think we might be like how many episodes have come out so far? Two. Ugh. Two. Okay, so we're one episode behind. Oh, um, no. No, no. Jeremy. These people are obviously, like, really flipping out online about it, because I haven't seen anything. Me neither. No. Uh, um, yeah, so this is the crossover between oh. Murder House, I don't know how that's in there, and The Witch Season, Season 3 Coven. So between Season 1 and Season 3 is a crossover. So this movie starts off with a bang. The biggest bang. A nuclear explosion. Nuclear, Marge. It's pronounced nuclear. <laughs> Holy Christ. It was bad. It. You were getting. <laughs> you were getting real fired up. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. fucking. It's just Fallout. Yeah, it is. It is Fallout. Yep. Um, it starts with uh, Evan Peters, who's playing a hairdresser, who's gay. Um, he has ah, an earring. Well, he had an earring and an ascot. You know how gay men in 2018 wear ascots? All of them. What is this, fucking Fred from Scooby-Doo? <laughs> so I was gonna say. <laughs> he actually looked like Fred from Scooby-Doo. Oh, fuck, you're right. With the blonde hair? Yeah. He really did. Yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and there was the girl from the last season, who was a, an <laughs> You know. You know, her? she played like the goth character in the it's last season. Princess Leia's daughter. I don't know what that is, but anyways. Do you know who Prince? Do you know who Carrie Fisher is? No. <sighs> oh Jesus! Now you're just fucking people. I just I can't I can't admit that Star Wars is a thing. I don't know. Anyways, it's Carrie Fisher's daughter. Like, it's Ray. <sighs> no, the actress Billy Lord, who you're talking about, is Carrie Fisher's Fisher's daughter. Oh, like in the realsies. Yes. Oh, like not for play play. Okay. Scott. <laughs> I... I'm so tired. Uh... I'm very overstimulated. Okay, so Billy Lord from the previous season where she was like the goth girl that was yeah. Evan Peters' sister. Yeah, yeah. She's got... She's the embittered assistant to the super white lady from the previous season who ran the honeybee business with her gay husband. Okay, yes. well, anyways... And then she's, like, getting her hair done, and she's like, oh, I'm an Instagram influencer, I need to get my hair done. And then her mm-hmm. dad's like, I'm FaceTiming you from Hong Kong, and the world's ending, and there's a private jet somehow, you go there. You got four tickets, even though it could have fit, fit many more people. Oh, yeah. It could have fit, like, 50 people. Yes. Easily. But I think it was tickets to get into the outpost. Yeah, it was. Oh! Holy shit. Revelation. In the meantime, a teenage boy just got into UCLA. And his family's having a little celebration. And then the feds roll up and 
pound on the door and are like, bang, 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 open up, it's the cops. Only you can come because you're a super Sam art. Uh, those are the men in black. Yeah. yeah. And they're, he, they're like, can we take my brother? And he's like, nah, he dumb. Yeah, which later on made no sense. Hey, American Horror Story, <laughs> not making sense, unheard of. Because they were like, <laughs> can you bring, can you take my brother too? And they're like, no, we only need people with superior genetic, make, genetic makeup. Your brother has to stay and die. And then they like chuck him in like a cage with this broad who's like, yeah, they took me out of jail. And it's like, what? I'm sure they'll, I'm, you know what? I was going to say, I'm sure they'll explain that later, but I'm not sure they'll no, explain no, that later. No, they've forgotten. Oh, yes. Already. Mm hmm. Um, so he gets shipped off to the outpost with another lady that is there. That girl with the curly hair. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the, they roll up to the outpost and they're like, hello. At and no point have they put on like, has the bombs have gone off. Yes. It's two weeks later. Yeah. Or whatever. And they're just in a fucking Jeep. Yeah. Nobody's wearing gear. They get out and they have hazmat suits on. Okay. But. They didn't have them the entire drive no. over. No. And that. I don't know a lot <laughs> about nuclear radiation. But I feel like that. Like Hummer was not secure. No. Radiation. But hey. Whatever. And they go to this fucking creepy building, and then they get let in, and it's Sarah Paulson dressed like fucking Gary Oldman in Dracula. <laughs> yep. And she's like, hello, welcome to the outpost. I see you've been deloused. You can join <laughs> us, and we're in the past, because technology ruined this present, and now the natural order of things is going to be restored. Here is a candle that you can carry in your lantern <laughs> through the darkness. Kate I don't know why it's really the bane at the end there. But then she's like, you're purples because you're smart, and then greys are our slaves. So they do have stupid people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then why couldn't his stupid brother come with him? Maybe they were full up. And then <laughs> you freaked out because she was like, what'd she say? Like, I'm the right arm of the... I'm the right arm of the... This organization. This organization. Just consider Think me of, the face. Yeah, consider me the face. <laughs> And you're like, which is it? They are with the face. Yeah, it should be the fist, maybe, not the face. More or like the, the hand. ass. I don't know, not the fucking face. She's the jingly part of the thigh of the organization. The and then the jingly part, the jiggly part, like jiggly, jiggly puff. puff. Fuck. <laughs> this is like the third time that we've done this. Uh, and then they have to wear like these elaborate, like Victorian outfits. Mm -hmm. And then they meet all the rest of the survivors, and it's this broad who was also in the 100, and she's like, I had a TV show, like Oprah, but then it got cancelled for a telenovela. But it's like, what are the stipulations of people's smartness? You took this broad out of jail, this guy got into UCLA, she's a fucking Sally Jessic Raphael. Like, one of them's just a hairdresser, but they bought their way yes. in. Yes. But they bought their way in, but then the one was a gray. Billy Lord was a gray, even though she bought her way in. Yeah. I don't fucking know. <laughs> and also, um, Joan Collins was there. <laughs> yeah. This is such a fucking disaster. <laughs> I just, like, usually, like I said when we were watching it, usually we get, like, at least four episodes where mm -hmm. I can fucking lie to myself and be like, no, this is going to be okay. We're going to get through this, and they're going to tell me a story that's mildly interesting and not at all totally confusing. But no, we are an hour in, and I am lost. Oh, yes. And they're eating, like, food cubes. Yeah. And they're like, oh, this has enough vitamins in it to keep your body working. And I was just like, hey, question. Um, you also need, like, sugar and, you know, energy. You need to be constantly digesting things for your body to keep working right. So nope. you can have as much supplements and fucking vitamin A and chlorophyll as you want. That's not going to be enough to run a human body. Um, and then excuse it's like, you. Do you run a uh, Victorian gothic fallout shelter i wish i did uh, well. um and then it's like flash forward 18 months later we're hungry and then fucking what's his name or whatever no you missed two week two weeks into it oh right they get a messenger and they pigeon to cannibalism and the messenger pigeons like everything all the other outposts are fucked up yeah no governments are left in two weeks yeah 
what was it? No governments are left. No governments. Th- three of the outposts have fallen. You're the only one that's left. Yes. Which maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. But there's a character at the end who comes in and is like, three outposts have fallen. Three remain. Yes. So yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, one of you, one of you sons of bitches, has radiation all up on you. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Kathy Bates, who looks like Chaz Bono, like scans them and is like, yo, you're the one, you're Evan Peters and fucking the other guy. You guys are dirty boys and you need to be (laughs) hosed off in some sort of sexy delousing chamber. (laughs) So she hoses them off and then scans Evan Peters' ass for radiation and surprise. (laughs) Right? It is bombed out and depleted, but it is not irradiated. Um, and then the other guys, he's got a dirty radiate, radioactive assy, and he gets fucking <laughs> bah, bah, shot. And then that night for Din Din, they uh, have stew. Oh, and I fucking called this hard. Yeah, so the guy that got shot, his name was Stew. And I was like, oh, they're going to do a thing where like the stew's made of stew. And then they did. And then they did. This fucking show is like, <laughs> oh, it's so tropey. When you it said it, and I was like, no, they're not going to do that. And then they did it, and I was just like, you know what? I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Scott did it earlier when she was like... "This uh, is, Don't think of this as the end. Think of this as the beginning. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then 18 months later, they're eating like half cubes. <laughs> yes. God, this show is so fucking stupid. Episode one. Oh, God damn it. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm just looking at the Wikipedia <sighs> for American Horror Story Apocalypse. So each episode is directed by a different person. Oh, oh good. And written by a different person. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and in an upcoming episode, Sarah Paulson's going to direct. Mm. And so is Evan Peters. No, oh. boy, fuck. Why not? <laughs> let the monkeys run the circus once in a while. They deserve it. So then this guy who shows up... Langdon. Michael Langdon. Um, Which Langdon is the last name of the characters uh, from... Murder, Murder House. House. So this is the the kid. The apocalyptic fucking demon kid from the end of that one then. Uh, okay. Potentially. Yeah. Yeah? No, it is. Oh, is it? Yes. I'm oh. confirming this with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Because he's in the show. And his name is Michael Landon. Oh, okay. Yes. Perfect. So, there's the connection to Murder House. Oh, I read the synopsis for the second episode, and I can't wait. Oh, There's no. more. Just, but wait! There's more! He looks like a Hanson brother, and he's like, hey, I'm here. To play Umbop for you acoustically. <laughs> It'll help with your apocalypse. With your apocalypse. Uh, I'm gonna decide who to fucking kill. And who to, and who to take to the sanctuary. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure isn't that what they just isn't that what they called the fucking like in The Walking Dead? Yeah, it was a sanctuary. No. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's a tie-in with that universe. Oh, fuck me. Are they on the knows? same network? No. no. Or it'll no. be like a tie-in with The Purge with the Invisible. No, they're not on the same network. Oh, oh thank fuck for the, that. The Invisible awaits. Oh Jesus. The Purge. Uh, I haven't started watching it. Is it no good? It's all right. Okay. It's it, all right. It's not... It's more cohesive than this. Okay. Yeah, well, it's at least coherent. How many episodes of that has there been? Three. Three. All right. Three out of ten. I'm just going to wait for it to finish then. I'm going to be that guy. And you can purge it out of your system. Yep, yep. Know. Okay, mm-hmm. so I already hate this show, but I'm having a lot of fun watching with you guys. Oh, man. If I was watching this alone, I would have tapped out seconds five minutes in yeah yeah so i don't like this no this is a chore already yeah like i said usually i can con myself into thinking four episodes are all right but like do people like this what was the last season about that was the election one Oh, American fuck. Cult. Remember? I and it started on nasty fucking, women. Where we all had to relive the fucking, one of the worst days of our lives. Oh. We're Canadian. So yeah. that's saying something. 
I forgot about that one. Yeah. I'm a nasty woman. I thought you were oh, going to flip fuck. the fuck out. I started pacing around the room. Oh my god, like you got up and just into a, flew into a rage. Yeah, I tried to block that night out. Like I could see your blood pressure just go. It was like like a like in a cartoon when a fucking temperature is just like, yeah. boom, there's like steam coming out of I your I started ears. punching the cat. <laughs> um, anyways. It's a rage hole. We're definitely going to be updating you guys with this as we suffer. So yeah. You don't have to watch the show. We'll just do it for you. Yeah. That's what okay. we're here for. Um, are we moving on to news? Yeah. So okay. who's got noodles? Breaking news at this hour. Okay. I have news. Yo. Lay it on me. Okay. So, I don't... You guys might know this. Do you know the band Suicide Silence? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Capcom is coming out with a new game. Nope. Devil May Cry 5. Nope. Do you know what this no, is? No, but I don't like it. Okay. So, Devil May Cry music collaboration, they were doing it with Suicide Silence. Mm -hmm. So, there's Whoa. always, like, battle themes for it. Like, Dante will have his own theme or whatever. So, a track called Subhuman from the band was in a music video for the theme for to promote the game, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So, anyways, turns out the lead singer sexually manipulated a 17-year-old. Sure. Creep of the week! <laughs> <laughs> You fucking touching me in a sexual way. We haven't heard that in a long time. No. That's kind of refreshing, actually. <laughs> okay, so um Suicide Silent vocalist Eddie Hermeda was accused of sexually manipulating a 17-year-old girl. He responded to and apologized about um he said that he was uh, the girl was aware that he was she was still underage. Like he was like, she he knew I was underage. Blah blah blah. And then gonna he, wait till she's eighteen. No, he said she said she was eighteen. That's the guy. Oh my god! He looks exactly like a. He looks exactly like you think. He no, looks. that guy's. If that's correct, that's he's dead. Oh, he's his career is dead. That's oh, for shit. sure. You're right. What was his name? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh! so this is another guy who died. Uh, his name was Eddie Hermida. Oh. Uh, why don't you go ahead and type in Eddie Hermida age? Let's find out how old he is. Okay, yeah. We're googieing and 35. Oh. So a 35 year old should not be talking to a 17 year old or an 18 year old. The I thought she was 18 doesn't hold water. Don't you hang out with a 20 year old? Okay. First of all, he's 22. Secondly, we're not fucking. So I think you can be friends with the guy. Don't, 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 don't. Don't compare me and him oh, to why? this. Why? Why are you showing us this huge picture <laughs> of that angry looking man? Fucking rude. Look at him. Look mm. at his gray hair. Ugh. Get, get this yeah, away get from that me. off the screen. I hate it. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Holy Don't guacam. you hang out with a 20 year old? God damn you. All right. <laughs> same. Don't throw stones, motherfucker. How is that the same? Well, I don't know. How is it? Okay. I don't know. You're not luring people. No. Yeah. No. What I'm just I'm just farting around. Calm down. Come on. There's lots of wild accusations flying around about me these days. <laughs> you defend your honor. Okay. So you have no honor. No honor. So <laughs> Sesame Street came forward and said Bert uh, and Ernie are not gay. But they are though. Yeah, that's a fucking lie. The lie <laughs> yeah. detector determined that was a lie. Yes. Um, they, for some reason, decided to come forward and be like, they're not gay. <laughs> I think, like, one of the writers gave an interview recently where he was like... I always wrote them. Oh, here, yeah. yeah. They were gay. I wrote them from being... Mark yeah. uh, Saltzman, who worked for the show for 15 years, said, I always felt that without a huge agenda, when I was writing Bert and Ernie, they were gay. They're 100% gay. You know who else is gay? Statler and Waldorf, the guys from the fucking Muppet show that, like, heckle the Muppets. Yeah. yeah. They're gay, too. Fuck totally. Yeah. Like, yeah, who cares? Yeah. Be gay. Yeah. Do crimes. I don't Be know. Be gay to crime. Um, they're gay. They're gay. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, but, like, come on. They've been living together 
for like 30 years, they 40 got years. The They're just Jackie. sharing expenses. <laughs> I mean, they do live in New York. Yeah, it's expensive. Well, okay. It is, yeah. So, anyways, instead of just saying nothing, they were like, yeah, these puppets aren't gay. Don't worry, everyone. <laughs> were people worried about that? Were people, like, staying up all night about of it? Of course you know people were worried about they it. They probably were. Like, conservative Christians? Holy fuck. Remember when Target came out with an ad? No, oh, it was Cheerios came out with an ad where it was, like, two adult men, like, feeding a girl Cheerios. And they were like, ah, this is gay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there was, like, a scene in Finding Dory where there was, like, two women pushing a baby stroller, and it was like, that's the lesbian agenda. It's the mauve hand. Is this, like... Oh, we're, like, in uh, Frozen, like, at the inn in Frozen, where it's like, hello, family! Yeah. And it's, like, a, it's two husbands yeah. and their children. Yeah. Which, and it was so chill and quick that I was just yeah. like, huh? And I had to go, like, rewatch Frozen, because I was like, oh, I didn't even realize. I was like, whatever. The the wild thing to me is that these people are so obsessed with the, quote, gay agenda that it's like two cartoon women standing next to each other. Like, they're like, I'm going to render this woman here and render this woman next to her. And they're like, lesbians. They're lesbians. <laughs> it's like, what are friends? What are sisters? Lesbians. 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 None of you are free of sin. <laughs> You and I, oh, we're big lesbians. <laughs> oh, people just think we're sisters. <laughs> you can uh, be my mountain wife. <laughs> okay, and uh, as everyone probably already knows by now, Sony is releasing a PlayStation Classic. It's going to be like the Nintendo Mini, Super Nintendo Mini, 130 bucks in Canada, 100 bucks in the States. It's going to come preloaded with 20 games. It also comes with two controllers, which I appreciate. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the Nintendo one didn't. I mean, I know why the Nintendo one didn't, but... Mm -hmm. I might pick this up if they have Silent Hill on it. Yeah. Without Comic Sans signs. (sighs) That was fucking terrible. It was real bad. I I know it has... I'm pretty sure it has Tony Hawk. Oh, it says it's going to have Final Fantasy uh, VII, Tekken Three, Ridge Racer Type Four. Launches globally on December 3rd. Yeah. They haven't, like, announced the full list of games mm. yet. Uh, yeah, that'll They'll probably later. do that, like, a couple of weeks, in, like, to get the hype going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also own a PlayStation 1, and I own... Most of these games. Most, like, the games, because I was like, I hope they have Tony Hawk. I'm like, yeah. I have fucking Tony. And I've got Spyro, and I've got Crash Bandicoot, yeah. and Crash Bandicoot Racing. So then I went on Amazon, and I was like, oh, I could just buy Silent Hill for the PlayStation 1 for 45 bucks. Yeah. So I might just do that if it's not on the list. Does, does this, um, is it a remaster or like reformat for your, for modern television? So I, oof, I don't know. That might be, that might be worth that it. That might be a cincher. Yeah. That's, I, don't think I mean, like think about how shitty Silent Hill graphics were back well, in the day. No, it won't be a remaster, but it might reformat properly. To yeah. Display. Versus like, just like stretching or just yeah. like a little box in the I middle. I love the little square. I like the, the square screen. too. You're like, there's like three feet on both sides you'd yeah. be using. But there were some other good horror games, like Clock Tower was yeah. on PlayStation 1. Oh, I, they probably won't put any Resident Evils. Uh, I think one Resident Evil's on it. Oh. I think the first one is. That's a weird choice, because they like I don't have know. released it like four times. Oh, I know. Huh. Oh. All right. Anyways, I'm going to keep close eye on this. Mm-hmm. But that's my news. Noodles. Okay, I got noodles. Okay, so octopuses are antisocial. This isn't news. But if you give them ecstasy, they get very cuddly. I love scientists. They're just like, uh, fuck, we got a grant. Um, we got octopus. You guys got drugs? <laughs> yep. Doesn't like, everything they, get cuddly on ecstasy? Yeah, what are they hoping to... What is? Well, the, I think just that they have similar brain um, chemistry. Oh, that, like, oh yeah, it so will we, act on, like, similar neurotransmitters. Yeah, so, so we can like, find out that, hey, guess what? Everything that's in the ocean, kind of like humans, and you're really fucking it over, because that's what we're going to find out. Oh, yes. Like, there's, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like so, like, dolphin the, cultures and yeah, octopus Yeah, so the cultures. big thing that they found out is that dolphins and people have almost identical genes for a protein that binds the signaling molecule serotonin to brain cells, and that's the target of MDMA, and so they were curious as to if this would affect this animal, which is actually very antisocial, and it turns out that they were, like, cuddling and loving and... Wow. But recently didn't... Cephalopod. Yeah. Recently, didn't they uh, discover that um, octopuses were alien life forms? I'm sorry, what? Yes. Yeah. 
So does that make us potentially alien life forms? Yes. Okay, Moiler. Well, well, also, well, well. This, this, this study seems somewhat unethical. Listen oh, to this. really? Listen to this. <laughs> no, 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 fucking listen to this. The researchers started out with extremely high doses of the drugs just to see if it had any effect on the octopuses at all. So that goes against what I was always taught of take half, wait a couple hours yeah. and see if you like it, a la Bert Kreischer. So the scientists said that the octopuses really didn't like the high doses. They looked like they were not. freaked out. They were just taking <laughs> these postures of super hyper vigilance. They would sit in the corner of the tank and stare at everything. That's what everyone does. That seems mean. But on lower doses, the sort a person might take, the behavior changed to the cuddly behavior. Well, why didn't they start with that? I don't know. Just got the octopus like a blanket over. It's like, it's okay, man. It's okay, man. You'll get through this. You it's want just... some more water? <laughs> Here, have this orange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, orange. That's a thing. Okay. Here's some Vicks Vapo rub for you. Oh, but yeah, I don't guess, eat it. I guess after the MDMA, oh. um, the octopuses were like hugging, which is fucking gross. Imagine you're like, <laughs> you're just like, hey, you got octopuses in a tank. And you're like, hey, guys, it's the weekend. You just put a tab of yeah. ecstasy in there. And then you come back on Monday and there's still like in a cuddle puddle like, just going on and on. And you're like, oh. Just fucking some fucking side trance just softly playing in the background. Oh, Black yeah. light poster. Like, yeah. Ooh, where, where did that get they put up in the lab? Those hex domes for some reason. You're like, where did this come from? <laughs> yeah, they have uh, like One those belts. fire poi. Yeah. yeah. They have like those leather belts that look like something Batman would wear and it's got other drugs in it. Like, oh, you? And they've like set up their own Burning Man. <laughs> it's like the under like the this. sea version of Burning Man. There'll be no accusations, just friendly crustaceans. <laughs> Apparently, quite friendly. Octopuses aren't crustaceans. Maybe I can go there to escape from my accusations. <laughs> Fucking good God. Hey, so speaking of the end of the world, as we were earlier, huh. dozens of birds fell out of the sky in Swasson. Oh. Um, yeah, so last Friday, um, near the ferry terminal... All these birds just like fell completely out of the sky. They fell in swarms face first into the pavement and it looked like it was raining birds. Oh, good. So like, That's a, good. you know, like the Alfred Hitchcock movie. Mm-hmm. Burbs. Mm. So the wildlife uh, organization has no idea what happened. So they're like investigating. They say anything if they did. Yeah. They've said been, birds have been sent to the lab for testing. Yeah. The incinerator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also in BC News. Uh, an optical illusion called uh, Pavement Patty has been installed in Kelowna in front of an elementary school. And so it is a painting on the sidewalk of a little girl running into the street for a ball. So yeah. you, as you see it, as you drive up, it looks like there's actually a child in the road, but yeah. it's like a long stretched painting. So you see it and it turns into an optical yeah. illusion, like yeah. a 3D thing. And it's to get people to slow down. Uh, when I first saw it, I was like, what the fuck is that? And I was like, where'd that little girl go? Oh, <laughs> Imagine it like you're fucking. Imagine if you're a high octopus driving a car in a school zone. Fuck me. <laughs> Freak the fuck out. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I also had another piece of news. Abby. Yeah, isn't that thing oh, awful? Oh, I see. Oh. That's horrendous and yeah. terrifying. But so many people are going to see it now and they could be like, ooh, and like speed up to hit it. Like, you know that's going to oh, happen. Yeah. Fuck. And then, like, jokes on them. It's actually a kid in the road. <laughs> I thought it was a, I thought it was payment patty. Okay, go get your pink ball and your denim outfit and go out on the road. Yeah. All right. So, Abby, the dog from I Am Legend, is now 13 years old and is still living her best life. So, <laughs> oh. I love the film I Am Legend because it's garbage and it has Will Smith in it. And, yeah, the puppy, uh, who's a German Shepherd, um, played by Abby. The dog's name in the film was Sam and kind of like the... Will Smith's daughter gave it to him in the film. Yeah. He's like, got a oh, dog yeah. with him. So anyway, she's still like chilling out, living her best life. Damn. So that's I, like never, a friendly, I didn't like that movie. Whatever. You don't like anything. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Also in Mexico, there's a roaming truck full of over 150 bodies. Just roaming around. Like, and, uh, like it, a plague cart? Bring what? out your dead. It's holding the remains of 157 unidentified people left in a field near the town, um, and they weren't able to be admitted to the morgue due to overcapacity, so the truck's just, like, refrigerated and, like, roaming around. Where in Mexico? Go. This has got to be the mainland. Uh, Moco uh. in Jalisco State. And it's in the western state, home to one of Mexico's most violent powerful drug gangs, the Jalisco New Generation Cartel. Awesome. 
and they have a murder record this year of 16,339 people dead. Oh, sure. Damn. We still got a couple months left. Yeah. So, there's just a truck just roaming around. Good stuff. Yeah. Keep on trucking. (laughs) Keep on fucking and trucking is all I crave. So, I got anime news. Oh. A fan of the anime My Hero Academia saves woman from ex-boyfriend's machete attack. Um, a fan of the Japanese anime is being praised for his heroism and bravery after saving a woman from her ex-boyfriend who aggressively tried to swing a machete inside a Starbucks in California. Blaine Hodge, a 27-year-old local artist, was the one who stepped in when people ran after realizing the suspect was carrying a deadly weapon. And, uh, I think he was, he was injured in the attack. Was he like, just like all might? Um, suffered deep cuts on both of his hands and numerous lacerations to his arms, but he did save the woman. And in the interview... Uh, photo. He's wearing a My Hero Academia shirt with like Japanese writing on it, and he's just like, yeah, whatever. It's a hundred percent All Might on his shirt. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and he's just like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> I Yay! did it. Now I can go to that school with that sleepy looking teacher. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> um. So you know what a rat king is? Yeah, yeah I do. Okay. So vets discovered a squirrel king. So there was three young squirrels with tails tied in a knot. Um, Yeah, check that shit out. I hope if you Google image it, there's a picture of a squirrel wearing a crown. Yes! Uh, Yes! Yeah, there is. Oh, whoops. Oh. Yeah, so the squirrel, five squirrel siblings got their tails (laughs) tangled up with each other. (laughs) Why? How dare that rabbit not ride the squirrel? Uh Uh-huh. Um... The squirrel siblings managed to get their tails tangled up with long stem grasses, sticks, and plastic that their mother had used as nest material. So vets were able to untangle them. Oh, that's probably that there. But why? Like, what a... Just, they're fucking squirrels. Like, I don't know. I don't want to, like... Because of Rat King's disgusting. Yeah, I know, but, like, I don't know. Fuck... I can't, I can't be bothered. To, I've thrown away a necklace because I couldn't untangle it before. Like, <laughs> <laughs> shit. I don't you care know, if I live or die. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Okay, what else you got? All right, so I have a creep of the week. <gasps> I have a creep of the fucking century, actually. You touched me in a sexual way. All right, so a man from Gilbert, Arizona, has faked having Down syndrome and hired oh, caregivers Jesus. to bathe him as well as change his diapers. So <laughs> change the- my diaper. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Change my diaper. So the man was identified as 31-year-old Paul Anthony Menchaca. He was arrested on September 6th after three caregivers he had hired found out he faked his mental condition. Um... Menchaca posed as a woman named Amy and posted an ad on CareLinks for a caregiver to assist his son with Down syndrome. The first victim said she assisted Menchaca by changing his diapers on 30 different occasions. Um, She would later refer the client to two other caregivers who took over her her duties in July. The first victim became suspicious at one point. She decided to follow Menchaca to his real home after getting dropped off by another caregiver. It was then that the victim met Menchaca's real parents and found out he did not have Down syndrome. Oh my god. The three caregivers would later confront Menchaca and get a confession. Um, uh, During the times the victim first talked to Amy, she would specify that Menchaca should be punished if he soiled his diaper. They would do this by taking away his privilege and putting him in time out. Um, All three caregivers also said that Menchaca would become sexually aroused when they washed his genitals. The first victim said Menchaca told her his genitals were not clean enough on five different occasions. That's How do grim. you fake Down syndrome? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, so Menchaca, who's listed as being a school crossing guard, oh, oh, good. was charged with fraudulent schemes and sexual abuse. You know, he could have just hired a prostitute to like treat him like a baby. Well, there's people in the adult baby community, which is what... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that's a... Th- it is a thing, as fucking weird as it is. Maybe, like, part of the other part of it was, like, tricking these poor women. Yes. That's fucked. I mean, that's a pretty good con. I mean, I gotta hand it to him for that aspect of it. Aspect. <laughs> Dirty ass. Okay. Aspect. Okay. What is this? Word association? <laughs> I don't know. Go I, on. I, I just what I have. Okay. So I got another funny piece of news. And uh, so this lady 
in the UK at late at night she would hear a fucking nursery rhyme and it was haunting her for months like at certain points in time she like at each night she would hear this fucking nursery rhyme these creepy like little chimes sure. and laughter mm -hmm. so where is it coming from oh i know i have a clip oh okay oh. fucking play it then yeah this is this is what she was hearing okay. this is an actual recording That's fucking scary. Right? What was it? So it was a loudspeaker coming from a local warehouse that had been like closed. And it turns out that it was spiders who were triggering this loudspeaker to play at night. That's so scary. Yeah, it was like, what was it? They had that wired up to like keep out intruders. So I guess creep them the fuck out. And then the sensors were oh. dialed too high and spiders were setting it off <laughs> for months. Oh my god. Can you imagine the fucking mind fuck of hearing that at like four o'clock in the morning? Oh my god. I'm fucking creeped out just from hearing it now and I'm in a brightly lit room. <laughs> and the fact that spiders were doing it. But as like a factory owner, that's something my dad would do. Like set up like a an alert that would play like a scary nursery oh, rhyme. Yeah. Yeah. How do they figure it out? Oh. Uh, Fuck. Well, it also says here that spiders and other insects are said to be responsible for 30% of false burglar alarms. Wow. Spiders are fucking... Now that it's starting to get cold out, there's spiders everywhere. I was at the thrift store the other day, and I was like, ooh, this is a cute denim jacket. <laughs> there was a spider the size of a fucking toonie on the sleeve when I took it off the rack. Whoa. And so I kind of stared at it, and then that I just put it back. And yeah, I was, the spider already picked out the jacket, you yeah, the, bitch. the spider owns that jacket now. <laughs> That's scary. That scared me. Let's move on. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta walk <laughs> home later. <laughs> I'm gonna walk you. No. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, that's, that's, it. that's oh. all I got. Okay, so I had some of my news poached. Oh, sorry. Whatever, I had the sound clip. Mm. Um, yeah, well, it was like a team effort. It was like the assist. Yes. Yeah, that was. I thought you guys had that plan. It was a layup. Oh yeah. yeah. No, it was like in hockey with the assist. Or like or in basketball. Like in no, basketball. No, no, we're layup. Canadian. We don't know. You know, we basketball invented was invented basketball. in Canada. Yeah, I'm aware, but hockey is what we're known for. Remember those fucking heritage moments? Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, you with look the peach, so stupid. With the peach, with the peach yeah. baskets. Yeah. yeah. But I need these baskets back. <laughs> <laughs> I loved heritage moments. Oh my, my favorite God. heritage moment was a uh, fucking Rob Ford smoking crack. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> so, update from. Uh, we need Robert Stack I saying know update. We do. Uh, there's an update from the observatory closures yes. in New Mexico. That I talked about last week. Apparently, mm. uh, according to the FBI, search warrants that have now become public, it was due to forensic computer searches for child pornography <gasps> that was oh. being uh, not not downloaded but uploaded from that system. Oh no! So yeah, um, which is gross. I like and your theory better. I, I mean, there's still room for the theory. Like Maybe the, the aliens are the fucking yeah. kitty diddlers. Well, no, because the government could just be blaming it on child porn because nobody's going to dig any deeper. That's true. Yeah, right? yeah that's it's true. It's easy, like, what's his fucking name? <laughs> oh, um, the fucking the, guy like, who faked the aliens. Yeah, the guy who faked the aliens, and then they found child porn on his computer like Diddler. a year later. And he's like, no, the government put it there. Maybe. Oh, mm, okay. Probably not, though. Okay. Oh, what was that guy's name? He had the. He said he had a star child baby. Yeah. Stan Romanek. Yeah, Stan Romanek. Oh, that guy was a diddler. Yeah. Well, he or, was diddling it to child porn. Yeah, they porn. found Whoa. child porn on his computer. Damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that part. So yeah, apparently this is why that doesn't really explain a lot of like why you evacuated a nearby town or flew in Black Hawk helicopters. Mm, that's, that's super weird. True. That's very strange. Yes. But hey, child porn's so no. Yeah. Gonna okay. Let's let's move away from that. Yeah. Um. Let's get spooky. I've got some more spooky stuff. So, um, have you ever heard of, like, the Gray Man? 
Yes. Yeah. So there was an alleged sighting of the Gray Man. For people who don't know, it's a ghost that appears before storms. All that kind of stuff. If you see him, it's supposed to be good luck, I guess. Mm. It means your shit's not going to get jacked and fucked up in the storm. <laughs> your skis aren't going to get stolen. Yeah. So uh, somebody has allegedly, on some security footage, captured... Oh no! Is this gonna be? This is gonna scare me too. Of the gray man. Let's check it out. This isn't like a pop scare thing, is it? No. Look at this spooky fucking. I don't see anything. Oh, oh I don't like that at I all. I don't care it's for like that a, at all. It's like a shape moving at the end of the pier, just like slowly walks across. Oh, don't zoom in more. Right? I hate that. I really don't like that yeah. at all, actually. I don't like that at all. Yeah, so... Ugh, cancel. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Yeah, so I mean... Thanks, Scott! Right? Um, sure you don't want me to walk you home later. Yes. I don't know if that's real. If it's just like a reflection in the fucking mirror. Or like in the window that the camera's behind. It's a reflection it's in some swamp spot. glass. Yeah. Some swamp glass? Yeah, over <laughs> Venus. You're never going to believe this, Scully. Yeah. Ass, glass, or grass. Okay, what? Can you have, do you have less scary? Can you get this fucking squirrel tail off the fucking screen? Yeah, click on that one. That would make me happy. <laughs> um, Coca-Cola is in serious talks, big air quotes, with Aurora Cannabis, which is Canada's mm. largest producer of marijuana to produce cannabis-infused beverages, because we all knew that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> so, that'll be weird. They're never, that's not gonna happen. Uh, my, my... It won't be under the Coca-Cola brand. No. We're oh, like, no, we're, yeah. We're yeah. sub one month away from I know. Yeah. legality. Happy yeah. Halloween. We have, like, the, what is it, the first official BC government-owned yeah. weed store opening up cannabis store. Let's get a fucking... Right next to a grocery store. That was just smart thinking. It's in the same lot as the grocery store I go to and the booze store. Yeah. And the sushi store. Yeah, right? like kimchi. Yeah. It's one-stop shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got any more news? That's all I got. Okay. Oh, and it's like right across from an A and W too. Oh, the whole thing is great, and there's a coffee shop. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I guess uh, this is time for to whole hog. go whole hog. So many scary noises on this episode. That one was really scary, too. I don't like that at all. Huh. Um, so Whole Hog is Scotty Floronix. I just realized that the Squirrel King has an acorn for a scepter. Oh, hell yeah, it does. It's on his hat, too. Yeah. Conquer. Um, conky. <laughs> anyway, what's Whole yeah, Hog? Anyways, so Whole Hog is Scotty Floronix's uh, misguided attempt to control some of the dick talk that goes on on this podcast. It does not work. He has curated a list of men... Uh, genre actors, filmmakers, musicians, you know, dudes with dicks. And my lawyerly friend Garrett and I have a sporting debate about what they would be beholden in their penis pants. So who is up? Uh, let's start it off with favorite. Old Sting. Oh, no. Oh. Look at that. I don't want to look oh, at that. Oh, this is better. Ah, uh, so Sting in Dune, more specifically in, in his blue, blue speedo. speedo. Enhance, enhance, <laughs> zoom, enhance. Uh, he's his dick is tucked back, like it is taped. No, it isn't. Back. No, it isn't. There's quite the bulge there. Uh, it's a, it's like a cod piece. It is a cod piece. Like that is show underwear. Doesn't mm-hmm. Sting have tantric sex? Yeah. That's gross, and I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> That's gross. I don't know why he decided to tell everyone about it, either. Because he can make you orgasm from, like, two states Like, over. winking at you? Yeah. You're like, Finger oh. guns? <laughs> yeah. uh, sting! <laughs> a 
okay, then. Sting's flicking his bean. I don't know. His, he flicks your bean with his mind. <laughs> with his eyes. Um, if that's true, then I'm very interested. Yeah, because then you don't have to look at this monstrosity. But I also feel like he would, like, give you a really good orgasm, but then he'd be like, you need to start eating more chia seeds or some shit. Absolutely. And he'd be like, can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> He'd be like, uh, I've noticed that your chi is misaligned. Yeah. And then he'd be like, let's let's hug each other and then like weep openly for hours to cleanse ourselves. Yeah, so let's like, listen to Bonnie Vare and go to a yoga class. Let's go to bed in my nest. Um, I think that <laughs> he would fuck you really well, but it's not worth the price you have to pay. No, not worth the price of admission at all. <laughs> yeah weirdo yeah or he would like show up at your house at 6 30 and be like we're going to a farmer's market two states over because they have the freshest corn and they were gonna go pick apples yeah i hate it i hate this i hate sting <laughs> see i i i like those underwear okay i have a drawing of those underwear i know you do it's great <laughs> so i think that's... that was given to you a man by another man it's... of a man in his underwear yeah, it's man. just the underwear it's just the underwear no homo um i think he'd be well, really good at the, sex that's but totally a man thing to do yeah yeah, yeah. truthfully not worth the no, price that you have to pay not. to like listen to his crunchy granola bullshit no he, if he was a woman, he'd be in, he'd be steaming his clam right alongside fucking Gwyneth Paltrow. I think he owns a loom, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that speaks for itself. <laughs> oh fuck, you're absolutely right. I wish I'd thought of it. Is that it? Are we just doing one? No, oh, no okay. I've got another one. Holy uh, Christ! No, get that out of your system. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sting owns a loom. (laughs) Let's keep it. Hello, Bert. I am weaving on a loom. (laughs) Man. Let's keep it science fiction. Okay. Oh, John Travolta (laughs) in Battlefield Earth. Okay. I have tried to watch Battlefield Earth like four times. That's John Travolta? For the. Yeah. In that Scientology sci fi movie. You know, I know what Battlefield Earth is. I'm not an idiot. That's John Travolta, though? You didn't though? know who Carrie Fisher was. I know who she is. I just refuse to acknowledge. <laughs> yeah, that's John Travolta. No. Forrest Whitaker is in it. <laughs> that looks more like John Travolta. Yeah. Look at his fucking gloves. <laughs> oh, God. He, he put those sausage hands on you. And he, in this movie, is so fucking irritating. Like, he's got, like, a very, like, voice. It's like a foppish yeah, space dandy. Picture. Oh, damn. I hate it. It's so bad. I have not been able to finish it. I've even tried watching it with riff tracks, and I still couldn't do it. Yeah, it's bad. I it's can't even do so it. It's so bad. Damn. It's I'm... not even fun bad. I just want to talk about Battlefield Earth. I hate it. I feel like... I feel like... You see how he's got lots of hair on his fingers? Yes. I think he's got that hair on his dick. And I it's noticed not that just his like fing- at the base; it's like all along the shaft. There's hair on the head. I think. See, he's wearing an extra fin- like rubber fingers here to prove he's an alien. I guess so. Maybe he's got two dicks, and one's a fake rubber dick. And you're like, John, is this a fake rubber dick you're wearing for fun? And he's like, No. And but they both had to be covered in a sparse amount of hair. I agree with you. Yeah, even on the top, there's even possibly some coming out of the tip. Ugh. Ew. Uh- yeah, that's a little It's much. like hair that comes out of your belly button. Okay, oh, but out of your dick tip. Yeah, just a, just a little bit. Just a tip. Just a tip. So I think he's got a floppy fake pretend wiener for some reason. And it's smaller than the other one, <laughs> and neither of them work too well. And he refuses to acknowledge it. It's like a fake one for funsies. <laughs> yeah. Weird. I hate it. I'm sad that I suggested it. <laughs> I know you said it, and I was like, "Oh, you fucking said it." Oh, he's, he smells. <laughs> but I, do, I, I do think that we maybe should try to like watch Battlefield Earth. <laughs> well, we almost made it through a second watch of that Michael Madsen movie. The oh Assassin's my Revenge. fucking god! Yeah, that movie was uh, like a Chinese tech shelter. I'm telling you, Viling was in it. <sighs> yeah, it was made by like Dragon Studio. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, that's how I feel about John Travolta just in general. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. So, <laughs> hair on the dick tip, and I think that's where we will leave you for this week. 
so if you haven't already and you would like to, you can check us out online. We are drunkinagraveyard.com. On Twitter, we are Drunk Graveyard. On Instagram and Facebook, we are Drunk in a Graveyard. And if you have anything you would like us to check out on the site, we are Drunk in a Graveyard at gmail.com. For the month of spooky October, it is almost upon us. Um, we are going to be doing, um, we're going to be posting, uh, videos and podcast pieces and short stories, uh, that we're going to be doing as radio plays, uh, pretty much every day. So please stay tuned to the site for that. And until next week, keep that hair on your dick tip and always stay spooky.